Hello guys, um, this is my prediction of this week's boxing events. I start with the fact that's least less interesting and more predictable. Sonny Edwards versus Cam, Cam um, Campos. Is that correct? What's his, what's his name? It was on the matchroom card on Saturday in London. And just come past. This will be an easy win for Sonny. First fight in matchroom. This is a good Joe Demis, Demis get his skills in the matchroom um, platform. Zone, United Station, fairly easy. I don't expect Campos to win any more three to four rounds max. Could be a shot, could win every single round. Andres can um Andres can pass. Um, this is for the IBF this is Edwards' IBF World Network title. So yeah, Sonny's above above levels. Above above levels. He needs to get, you know, Martinez or Marigas. That's, that's the fight he needs to get next. We need to have it really tested. He's on the feet. Campus is on the feet, but levels above. Levels above. Levels above. It'd be an okay fight. Not the most competitive, but Edwards is above um, Campos, in, in my opinion. The main, the main fight, the more interesting fight, the most competitive fight is um, the Tia Form Lopez versus um, Josh Taylor fight. I think this fight goes to points. As with Sonny, um, we could be competitive. We'd be more competitive as Cattle. TF4 has looked good at 140. And um, whereas um, Taylor obviously lost, he might be, we all know he lost against um, Jack Cattle when he was robbed. He should, have, should, have, he should not be champion to this, to this day. He should be no, obviously be a champion, should, should he be Jack Cattle. But he has more to give. He's more, obviously, he's more proven at 140 than TF4 is. I think decision could, can, Tail stop Lopez, mm. possibly, but I think it will be a decision. Both fights, are, uh, I believe, go by decision. I mean, Team Aussie has got uh, it's still enough to handle Taylor's power. Uh, I can't see anything. I think we'll outbox him. I think Taylor just uses better, 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 better boxing IQ and there's a box around him. It could be cool. It could be a split decision, but I think it's definitely can um, Lopez outbox Taylor. Unlikely, I haven't seen if of, of Lopez do the prove that he's on his level. He used to beat, obviously beat him, um, but he wasn't a fully. I mean, arguably past his prime. Um, what's his name? Lemonchenko. And I just think at 140, Taylor obviously is more prime fight 140. So I think decision. I mean, you know, the decision with um, Taylor. And that Taylor is weight train. I know he's struggling to wait mate at 140. This would be. If Taylor can't get a fight with Ryan Garcia or another, another champion of note or a tra- tra- Cattle rematch, he would move to 147. I may try to try to face the win of Crawford and Spence. This would be one, this would be last year. This this year, this would be last year that um, we'll see, um, you know, I think, um, just here at 140. Anyways, adios amigos, smash the comment, subscribe, join the sunshine guys, adios amigos, subscribe, guys, trying to get to 400, 400 by the end of July. Take care guys, adios, adios amigos.